gentlemen, this is the TNA Knockout Queen of the Cage match. Introducing the first participant from Los Angeles, California, Christy Hime. Yes, we are back inside this champ packed Songus Arena in Royal Massachusetts for the Queen of the Cage. Here comes the very vocal ballet of the Rock and Rave infection. Christy Hime. Hide your microphone. Hide <laughs> your microphone, my connect. I don't think there's any way that we're going to give Christy Heavy the microphone tonight here at Lockout. We don't know. We don't have to worry about that screeching and squealing. Representing the Latin American Exchange, she is Selena. Yes, the representative of LAX. It's Selena headed down, second participant here tonight in the Queen of the Cage at our Lockdown Pay-Per-View event. There's going to be eight knockouts involved in this matchup. Salinas to join Christy Hemi. The next participant in the Knockout Queen of the Cage match is the Pride of Tennessee, Jeff Cohen. She's been aligned with the Tennessee Cowboy, James Storm. Before, even before that, Don, a very extensive professional career for the pride of Tennessee, Jacqueline. In my mind, this is the favorite. In my mind, this is somebody with her experience who knows how to brawl. Because you got to brawl outside of the cage to work your way in. First two that make it in, it's pinball and submission to crown the queen of the cage. Keep your eyes on the pride of Tennessee, folks. Well, you called her the favorite, I have to agree at this point, especially when you look at that experience factor, the edge that she has. From St. Mary's, Ontario, Canada, Tracy Brooks. Yet on the other hand, when you're talking about experience, let's just say in recent matchups, matchups over the course of the past few months, Maybe look at somebody like Tracy Brooks. She's been there, too. Well, she's been in some brawls as of late, and I mean, think about it. She's gotten to get some good experience from, from wrestling with Booker T. I mean, who else but Booker T to help get you ready for a match like this? Ladies and gentlemen, the next participant first from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Angelina Love. And from the Big Apple, Velvet Sky. The beautiful people of the TNA Knockouts. And if you don't believe it, just ask Angelina Love and Velvet Sky. They have a very high opinion of themselves. And how about that recent situation with the voodoo queen, Roxy Laveau, and the makeover that went south? Well, as far as they're concerned, everybody but them needs a new makeover. I mean, that's their, their M.O. But one thing about it, Angelina Love, Velvet Sky, you gotta keep an eye on them because they will work together. You know, they told me when they saw that shirt and tie combination, they were thinking of a makeover for you. As long as they do it, it's cool with me. Oh man, Rock of Corn! Well, I know we call the bullet points for the X Division the X Factor. But to me, this is the X Factor of this TNA Knockouts matchup because so little is known about what Raka Khan can do in a match. Well, one thing about her, she's intimidating, a little bit like Austin Kong. You, you look at her and you just think of the possibilities someone that size can do in a match like this. The freak of Big Papa Puck Scott Steiner and Petey Williams. Think about it. And the final participant from Congo Square in New Orleans, Louisiana, Roxy LeBeau. Boy, talk about a roller coaster ride of emotions for one of the TNA knockouts. Go back just a couple of months when BKM kicked her to the curb. BG and Kip James, and they're going to settle their differences later tonight. They fired the voodoo queen, Roxy LeBeau. The problems that she's had in recent weeks, especially with Angelina Love and Velvet Sky, the beautiful people tell me she might be looking for some revenge tonight. 
Ladies and gentlemen, here are the rules for this match. All eight knockouts will start on the arena floor. The first two to flight and climb their way into the ring will then have a singles match, won by pinfall or submission, to determine the number one contender for the knockouts title and will be declared the first ever TNA knockout queen of the cage. It all starts in five, four, three, two, one, fight! This is what I love about lockdown. Yes, every match is in the six sides of steel, but there's that little different hook to every match here in our lockdown pay-per-view, and you're certainly seeing that on display here with this, yes, queen of the cage matchup. You've got to get inside the cage. First two to do, they'll then have a match to be decided, as David Penzer said, by pin or submission. Well, one thing I noticed, Angelina Love, Velvet Sky, went right after Roxy LeBeau, but look at Rocky Pan just busting away. You saw Jacqueline going crazy. Tracy Brooks, and oh, man, Velvet Sky just put Roxy LeBeau's face right on the ring apron. You can see Angelina Love climbing away, trying to get to the top, and that's the thing. If you can get high enough, they can't stop you. And it looks like Angelina Love is gonna make it in if she can continue on unimpeded Mike. But she's gotta be certainly not a huge favorite at this point because she's already there. She's already up, she's inside the cage with, with nobody at all trying to stop her. She's the first. Who's gonna be the second? Who's gonna face her? I see, well, Velvet Sky climbing up on the far side. What kind of a matchup would that be? A situation where Velvet Sky, Angelina Love going at it. Rock Khan doing her best as you see Salinas. Christy Hemme pulling on those big long legs of that genetic freak. And look at this, Velvet Sky almost got up. Roxy LeBeau knocking her there. And you can see Jackson, Miss Brooks trying to get in and now it's a race to the top. Roxy LeBeau's got the lead. Roxy LeBeau's got over the top. Can she get down in time? Roxy LeBeau, Angelina Love, it's pinfall or submission. But Voodoo Queen looks pretty comfortable making her way up and over the top of the cage and then inside the six sides of steel. Referee Rudy Charles, TNA senior official, says let's turn these girls loose. At this point, it's win by pin or submission and you will be crowned the first ever TNA knockout queen of the cage. Got a little good news, bad news situation for the winner. You're gonna get a title shot. You're gonna be the number one contender. That would be the good news. The bad news, the champion is awesome, Paul. <laughs> Great point, Mike, today. Oh, what an elbow. What a shot by Roxy LeBeau. One thing Roxy LeBeau's gotta have right now, confidence. Why? Because she doesn't have to worry about Velvet Sky trying to sneak in from behind because he's one, two, almost got the pin. Angelina Love, she can't depend on Velvet Sky now. There is no way to run, nowhere to hide inside the six sides of steel. It's one on one, but Angelina Love with a vicious jawbreaker on the Voodoo Queen. That's the beauty of the six sides of steel. Not have to worry about that outside interference as we see that big flying clothesline. Angelina not going to go for the pin. Instead, she takes the Voodoo Queen by the head and then just repeatedly bashes her on the canvas. Tell everybody about the history between these two. Hasn't been too good as of late, has it? Well, after the after the makeover attempt where they Rocky Laval fell for it, thought they were actually going to try to help her, and then they just turned it into something something ugly and disgusting. And now Angelina Love taking taking the scarf and just wrapping it around the neck and choking Roxy LeBeau. Angelina Love just has a mean streak to her. And I'll tell you what, you can look at her and realize the shape she's in. But look at Roxy LeBeau, counters, and tries to put her head in the cage, but Angelina Love stops it. You're right, Angelina able to put on the brakes, swing and a miss with the clothesline, oh, boy, yeah. what a boot that was, and with authority, right on the cover, the far leg hook, two count only for Angelina Love in the pin attempt on the Voodoo Queen. I'll tell you what, Angelina Love, though, look, she just gave the kick right to the jaw. She's really mad at referee Rudy Charles. She thought she had the three count. Roxy LeVal got the shoulder up in plenty of time. But now look at this. You can see her putting that boot to the back of the head while the neck is, is choking against the ropes. And that's just knocking the wind out of her. And Angelina Love just toying with Roxy LeVal right now, Mike. You're right, Voodoo Queen certainly on the defensive, in trouble. Angelina gonna shoot her across. Quick reversal there, first the boot. Gonna try and take her up into the air, got her back, got her up on her shoulders. Angelina able to fight it off, drops down on her feet. Turns Roxy around, drilled her with the boot. 
Oh, what a plant that was. She calls that the lights out. Well, it looks like it's lights out. She hit it with perfection, and you can see Rock DeLavo just looking up. Two, whoa! Got the shoulder up, and I'm telling you, that was just in time, Professor. Well, you can certainly see the frustration being exhibited by Angelina Love. You said it best. She hit the lights out move, planted her with it, but she had the three count. Wait, listen to the fans, Don, here at the Songus Arena in Lowell, Massachusetts. They're behind the voodoo queen, Roxy LeBeau. Oh, you hear the chants of Roxy, Roxy, as Angelina Love's got to hear it too, and uh oh, Roxy LeBeau trying to get around there, but oh, Angelina Love turns it to her favor. Gonna try and roll her up off the ropes. Here's two. the pin attempt. Roxy oh. able to use her leg strength to send her right off and into the cage face first. Wow. Oh, this is the you saw this move oh, on this saw this. We sure did. The it, voodoo drop. We saw it on Thursday Night Impact. She's got her set. Oh, the voodoo drop right on the spine. Two out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, the queen of the cage, Roxy Willabo. Well, the, the awesome, awesome call. The Voodoo Queen is the queen of the cage.